In this episode, we are spoiling ourselves a bit after we arrived in Fakarava. Little paradise here. And actually, I had to say to G, there is a shark behind you. I'm not joking, but it's. <laughs> It did not take long after we had our anchor down before we saw our first sharks here. Okay, a bit dramatic humor here. These beautiful sharks are nurse sharks and totally harmless. What a privilege to come so close and to have this experience. Sharks on our own. So there was no in there, huh? No, it's closed. We are too late. I can't see the price for the laundry also. But it was supposed to be open to 5 o'clock. French Polynesia time? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's like the grocery store when the baguettes are sold out, the store closed. Yes, but this is somebody else's laundry, so... Okay, let's go and uh, let's grab some uh, tomatoes. Jeez, in the arch. In the sunset. In the sunset. Look at this. No success with laundry today, so that's gonna be tomorrow. We just arrived and have already seen a lot. The sharks was probably the highlight of the day. Perhaps also the reason why we were too late for the laundry. But who cares, it's a new day tomorrow. There is no dinghy dock here and the harbor is a long walk away. So only alternative here is to beach the dinghy. But here no one steals anything, so it's no worries. We really hope to have our laundry sorted out today. And maybe we can even go for a swim on the neighbor resort we spotted on our way here. If we can do laundry. Yes, it's just we'll wash or wash drying food? Uh, wash. Just wash. wash. Uh, yes, but I'm um, coming. <laughs> 
Just outside the laundry place we could hear some beautiful singing and this Polynesian style guitar playing. I wanted to see if I could capture this and share it with you guys. But it turned out the lady was not so keen on playing and singing with my camera around. My, my friend is nothing. <laughs> I, she, little bit? Yes, me I showed her my recordings from Rangirua, hoping to motivate her, but no success this time. Yeah, you wanna dance? Yeah, you're not on the main pizza. Baby, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's, um, um, music is so beautiful. It's like... Uh, Surely. Surely. Yeah, I'm going to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, la la. Cocos. I'm going to see it. Yeah. I'm making a video. Voila. Um. <laughs> so okay, so both video. Hey. <laughs> they have so little, still so friendly and showing such great hospitality, giving us a taste from their coconuts that grows in their own garden. Madame? Oh la la la, merci beaucoup. Elle a pour monsieur. Humoristic. <laughs> but they are not dangerous. Fresh coconut water. Ah, so too much. Voilà, monsieur. Oh, the contrasts are big everywhere in so many ways and only a few hundred meters away from these humble people sacrificing everything for what they believe in. You find an all-inclusive resort for people from a different world in just as many ways. His construction project is a church with material most others would use to build a house to themselves instead. Meeting people like this makes me very humble. Imagine staying on this resort. Go ask if we can have a swim here and, and drink a uh, beer in the water there. <laughs> Shall I do that? I'm Dutch. I can try. Yeah. <laughs> 
crack behind you. How do you feel about that? <laughs> It's a nurse shark. It's yeah, harmless. Yeah, I know, but they, they look scary. <laughs> <laughs> and it just passed you by 20 centimeters. I'm such a hero. <laughs> and actually I had to say to G, there is a shark behind you. I'm not joking, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> So you can sit here, have a nice beer at the table in the water and a peaceful shark just swims gracious past you for 20 centimeters or so. It's amazing. <laughs> and now T is looking over her shoulder. To see if there are more sharks coming. <laughs> We got our laundry back. And how much was it? Um, 2,400 francs, so it's around $24. Yeah. $24. I think we should try as soon as possible to get a laundry machine on board again. Oh yeah, good idea. At least we get some free exercise. No? <laughs> I mean, it's not that you can't wash your t-shirts and shorts by yourself but bed sheets and towels is really nice to have in 60 degrees water so after I ditch my laundry machine on board this is how we do it and it's time consuming and expensive We like this friendly and beautiful place so much, we actually spent a few days here doing nothing. A nice escape from boat life for a short while. Back on board I have some following up to do, making sure all my parts are on track for delivery to Tahiti. Ocean Chandlery in the UK have been absolutely amazing. Their attention to details and following up has been flawless. And now I got a message that my things are on its way to Tahiti. It's still a few weeks away and with only 260 miles from Fakarava to Tahiti we still have time to enjoy more here. So in the next episode we are sailing to maybe the most amazing part of this beautiful atoll. Thank you all so much for watching, sharing and subscribing. A special thanks to all the amazing patrons supporting this channel. All the best and hope to see you all back here next week.